After months of intense preparation, the first phase of highly radioactive material has been moved away from the Columbia River. One of the things that's really kind of amazing about this is how this work has come off flawlessly. And that's really a tribute to the dedication and the attention to detail that the, the workers put into this. The Department of Energy, along with its contractor, CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company, celebrated this major accomplishment by sending off the last shipment of this material called knockout pot multi-canister overpacked sludge. It's difficult when you see the end result here to understand how much went into it and how many groups. It would probably take me about an hour to sit down and write down all the names of just the organizations who contributed. The sludge had been stored underwater in a large concrete basin adjacent to the K-West reactor, located about 400 yards from the river. There were many challenges to the sludge retrieval process since this type of work had never been done. Make, we're just making sure that pipe Before the retrieval process began, CH2M Hill trained workers in a mock-up facility where they engineered tools and practiced in a safe environment. All the teams involved are proud of this major accomplishment. I think what's most important and what strikes me the most is of all the challenges it's taken to accomplish this by so many people, there have been virtually no events and no incidents. And, and that's what really tells you who's good. And that's what, that's what really the mark of a great team is. You know, anybody can struggle through and eventually get a job done. But to make it look this smooth, this easy, really points out the, the quality of the people involved. Workers safely completed five shipments. The sludge was first retrieved from the basin, placed into storage containers, then vacuum dried here at the cold vacuum drying facility. The sludge was then transferred to the canister storage building. It will remain here until a permanent home is available. Sludge is a dense radioactive material that resulted from the corrosion of spent nuclear fuel stored in the basin and other debris left from plutonium production operations more than 30 years ago. Moving the sludge is a major step forward in preparing the K-West Basin for demolition and protecting the Columbia River. The first knockout pot phase is officially complete. Workers will now begin the final stage of the process, which will be removing sludge from large squared holders called engineered containers.